autologous stem cell transplantation is still nowadays the standard of of care for those patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma that are primary refractory to first-line therapy or that relapse after achieving uh, first complete remission after first-line therapy. In the last few years, we have been able to improve the results of autologous stem cell transplantation in this setting by the introduction of new drugs being used in salvage strategy before transplant uh, by introducing PET CT uh, to evaluate disease status before autologous stem cell transplantation. Also, by introducing consolidation strategies with new drugs after the autologous stem cell transplantation setting in patients that have a high relapse risk um, after the transplant. And maybe in the near future, we will be able to select specific subgroups of patients in which or in whom autologous stem cell transplantation could eventually be skipped and patients being consolidated with new drugs, such as ventuximab of checkpoint inhibitors.